And we're live. What's going on, guys? It is a Friday afternoon. A nice little Friday afternoon hangout. 2 p.m. So a lot of you guys are working at home with the kids. Yeah, what percentage of you out there are working? Probably not a lot. You mean just like they have jobs like, but they're lounging? Yeah, Fridays. Who works? Everyone's checked out. Um, if you guys have questions in chat, hit us. Someone's already commenting that, wait, I think that one got deleted now. Oh no, I did these. Think they are one of the top low carb keto desserts ever made. Tastes, Tastes just like the real thing. I appreciate it. Um, I feel the same way. We make them like four to five times over the holiday season. They're Matt's favorite. And so I thought, why not make them again? Yep, I linked the recipe in the description of this live. Um, it is the best keto cinnamon rolls recipe. It's on our website. And I was looking at the instructions and all the ingredients. It's kind of intimidating. It is, but um, that's why we're gonna make it too, to show you that it's really easily doable yeah. in a fairly quick time. And you can even prep these the day before. I, I do that all the time when, when it's like the holiday season. I'll make them the night before put them in the um, greased cake pan and then pop them in the fridge. And then before I pop them in the oven, I take them out for like an hour so they are just rock cold when they go into the oven. Um, but yeah, this is a really good one. I'm excited to make it and eat it. And we're not doing the cream cheese frosting. That's a super simple recipe you can make um, if you want to make for these, but we just eat them without the frosting to be honest. So yeah, we don't gonna, usually make it. We're gonna leave that out today just as a heads up. A lot of people saying these are yummy. Thank you. And uh, before we get started, we do have a sponsor for this live stream, which is very exciting. And a lot of the things we got, we're going to actually use in the recipe so it works out. So Thrive Market is the sponsor. And they have a coconut flour, which I usually buy a couple at a time because it's a really good price. Coconut flour is really expensive. No, I feel like is it? I feel like low carb flours in general are really expensive compared to the what you're used to paying. Oh yeah, because what your normal flour is super cheap. Yeah, so that's why it's really expensive. So we got some Thrive Market coconut flour. They have their own brand of stuff. They yep. have an almond flour, which we've never tried, but it's super fine, which is also key for this recipe. You want finely ground almond flour. They have a one-to-one -one sugar replacement, which is cool. So Erythritol's not one-to-one -one. erythritol is like what 70 percent as sweet as yeah, sugar like 70 percent. so that's cool that this is a one-to-one -one. exactly you don't have to like change any measurements and then of course we got some vanilla extract that's going to go in this recipe and then we also got some snacks that are our go-to's matt do you really like these because i always get them all the time they're okay yeah they taste really good. There's just not many in a package. There's like three or four. But we're going on a road trip in June. I don't, these aren't going to last till then. I'll but, eat them. Yeah, but, they'll be gone by then. But I thought that's like a perfect road trip snack. I've been getting nice packs of Wild Planet tuna. I love their chicken and their tuna, so I always get the Wild Planet. Theo's favorite snacks, pops and popcorn. And this is the geek kind. You can't really get the geek kind anywhere except like online. So that is our box, but let's just do it. What's that you're drinking? I'm drinking a Zevia, which is a, just a cola that is sweetened with stevia instead of like an artificial sweetener. Oh, and there's a special offer with Thrive Market. It's 25% off your first order. And a free gift. And a free gift. And it's linked below. Linked down below. Video description, so you can check that out, along with the recipe. So everything is always linked. Um, okay. And we usually order from them like once a month. Don't you get a monthly box? Yeah, I do. Especially with Theo. If you have kids, it's great. Yeah. And they have like pet stuff and beauty products and stuff sometimes I'll get. Okay. So we should get the cinnamon rolls going just because <laughs> they, they take how it. long in the oven? Like 30 total, I think. And we got a little dual camera set up here. So I'm going to be looking at the recipe on my phone. Don't mind me. I'm not just like a millennial on my phone. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people saying they like this recipe, specifically Dark Darsic Blue Eyes is a big fan of the recipe, saying it's the best, one of the best low carb desserts she's ever had. Well, thank so you. here's the thing, guys. If you look on the internet and you just Google like keto cinnamon rolls, which I'm gonna do for you right now. For the second. Well, yeah, it's a long time coming. But for um 
most of these recipes, it's just almost every keto recipe that's like kind of hard to make, the high ranking recipes, it's all fathead dough, which to me is kind of cheating. So let's see what the first one is. You know what I was even is. thinking, but that would have taken too long. We would do a fathead dough Look, and mozzarella this. cheese. But I was thinking we should, we would do like a comparison, but I don't think we'll have the time. Okay. Oh, this one's not um, fathead dough. Uh, yeah, it is actually. So we got 18 tablespoons. So that's two cups and two tablespoons of almond flour. Right? Um, yeah. A couple people asking if Murder She Ate's coming back. Uh, I think you guys need to just stop asking. <laughs> At this rate, especially because we're having another baby soon. It's, it's not going to happen for a little while. Why do you say little while? Why don't you just say no, it's not coming back? <laughs> like you tease the people. Well, you know, you never know. I'm not, I think there could be a situation I've, where. There have been so many times where I've tried to convince him to do murder she ate. And he's just no. You're just like, no, no, no. You don't want to do you it. You know, things are changing around here. We may be able to get he's murder she ate coming back a little bit here and there. Okay. And then one third cup of. Coconut flour, so I'm just gonna use a tablespoon. Is that popcorn keto friendly? No, but Theo eats it for a snack and it uses good oils as opposed to like- it's Coconut oil or ghee or avocado oil. Yeah. Not used to YouTube, how do you get the Thrive link? It's in the description. So right underneath this video, you probably need to expand something so you can see the description. It's right down there. Okay, so one third cup, 5.7 tablespoons of coconut flour, and then we got our erythritol, which is a quarter cup, but instead of doing a quarter cup of erythritol, I decided I'm gonna up the stevia, and I'm going to just do two tablespoons of erythritol, because that's what we usually like to do. And if Theo has some, less erythritol in his belly. And um, something, if you guys are, use our, reps, our website regularly, you, there's this, I don't know if you're all aware, you can scale it up and down. I would double check to make sure that the recipe still makes sense though. Cause like if you take it down to one, that recipe is probably not going to work out, but you could go down to like five or something. So we did two teaspoons of baking powder and then I'm doing one teaspoon of xanthan gum. Oh, sorry. I just put it's that. It's not a great bowl for this, but that it's just all the dry ingredients right now. And then we're going to do some salt and we're just going to give this a quick mixy. Your baby bump is adorable. Thank you. I'm way over it at this point. Happened real quick this time. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty big. It gets big like as soon as I drink water in the morning, it's just the biggest. Okay. So I'm going to mix this up and then we're just going to add our wet and whisk it together and that'll be our dough. And we're going to make our filling separately. Okay. Three large eggs and guys, for the first time ever, I left all these stuff out for room. So these are room temperature eggs, but they've been out for like six hours. That's probably too long. No, it's fine. So we're doing three large eggs. Does Thrive now require you to pay for membership? I think they always have. I'm not 100% yeah. sure though. It's a paid membership. You can do a yearly one that's cheaper than that's like you get a savings. Um, okay. I think if you order at least probably like once or once a month or once every two months, it'll it'll pay for itself though. So <clears throat> then we're gonna do three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Oh, sorry, I'm not even like in the shot. It's okay. There's not a, a lot to see. Two tablespoons of butter. Why does it say three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar? I don't know. Instead of one tablespoon. Love your website and your channel. Thanks for all you do. So I'm first doing one teaspoon of, or one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And then two tablespoons of butter. And this is soft. Thank you for loving our channel. 
What have you guys been up to lately? Any new hobbies, new shows you're watching? Shows, give me all the shows. We just finished uh, Seven Year Switch Season 3. And Last Chance You Basketball. So Seven Year Switch is not a good show, but Season 2 is one of the most epic seasons of reality TV you are ever going to see. I would skip season one, go right to season two. What goes down in season two is just out of this world. So in case you can't tell, we're big reality TV people. Because at the end of the good. night, I just like to turn my brain off for a little. Yeah, but you can do that without reality TV. Can you? Like what else? What can you like do? Like sitcoms. Yeah, sitcoms, I'm I saying guess. we're, like, you know, reality TV is like real people, real emotions. I prefer reality TV to sitcoms. Oh, do you? I think so. I feel like you can turn you can't turn your brain off as much with reality TV because it's like real lives. Like these kids playing basketball are actually going to make it or break it. It's like stressful. Yeah. You know? Okay. My real guilty pleasure though is watching replays of video games. Okay. The vanilla extract. Prank Encounters on Netflix. I watched a little preview of that today. Is it any good? It seems like it's kind of like that show Punked. Yeah, my dad loves shows like that. Like, uh, what is the uh, ones that we've seen on, like, the four what? guys, the pranking guys? Oh, the Impractical Jokers? Yeah. That one's funny. He loves that stuff. Matthew Newbold says he's been pretty busy at work. Is that true, though? I don't know. That's what he's telling me. Farmer Meemaw. Oh, she has a new name. You're always changing your name, Farmer Meemaw. She is a hot mess on a mission now. She's addicted to Wipeout. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I don't love Wipeout. I get, like, once in a while I'll throw it on. Someone say in the show The Chosen is really good. Mm. Actually, a few people are saying Chosen is really good. What's it on? Have you watched Love is Blind on Netflix? Yeah, that was a good one. We're in for season two. Why not watch others' lives to give yourself a better outlook on your own? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing over there? Trying to get some warm water. So the water needs to be warm for this recipe. I'll turn the webcam off for a little. We need a better water heater, I guess. Okay, we got it. Picking up half of a grass-fed cow later. Getting my freezer ready. Now, that is all the ingredients for the dough. Let me just double check, yep. And so now I'm going to whisk this with our hand mixer. I guess I'll just do it over here. It's less loud. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, Mega's gonna mix it back over there. It's less loud. So Mega's been making this, when did you make it last? For Christmas? Um, yeah. Yeah. And then I just eat them straight out of the fridge usually. I haven't caught a cook along in forever, I miss them. Yeah, we haven't done one in a while. Probably like at least six months since we've done one. How many tests do you guys usually do for a new recipe? Can you talk about that process of coming up with a recipe idea and development? Well, it's some, t well, we have some help with it now, so it's not just us, but um, if it's a pretty well known and like popular recipe that we don't have a recipe for yet on our food blog it doesn't take a lot because we just like reference a bunch of recipes put a little spin on it and then it's done but the cinnamon rolls we were looking around and everyone just did fathead dough for the cinnamon rolls so it took a long time to perfect i think we started trying when we in 2016 remember it wasn't like we did it every day or every week it was just like we should try doing cinnamon rolls we probably tried it like three or four times maybe um are you joking maybe maybe like 10 like 10 to 20 times yeah but that's the exception. Usually it's a lot shorter than that. We're getting a new local butcher to open this weekend. Prime Butcher Shop. 
I really hope it isn't too expensive so we can get some cheaper fatty cuts we can't get usually. Yeah, maybe you can even talk to them and see like what they have extra of and stuff. Because it's probably going to be expensive for like the, the fillets and the ribeye and stuff. Okay, so there's our dough. Wait, I got to do this. I feel like you can see it just as good. Yeah, you can. It's actually not, we don't even need the webcam. It's just a little less bright. Yeah. So it's going to be very sticky. So I'm just making it into a ball and then I'm going to let it rest for five minutes while I get the filling going. And the filling is pretty simple. Cinnamon, butter. A roots are tall. Do you ever use active yeast? We have yeah. before you can, it just doesn't activate because you need sugar and gluten for it to activate. So uh, it's mainly just for flavor when you're doing it for keto recipes. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of butter. And if it's not room temperature, you can totally just melt it down in the microwave. Is anyone actually cooking along with us? Yeah, let us know. I feel like it's uh, been so long since we did this, but. Name ideas for the new baby. We actually we, have our name. It's locked in. We switched. We we were very convicted on one name, and we pulled the switch, and I'm happy with it. Um, Lola M donated three dollars, and she put an emoji of a avocado. Thank you, Lola. You are sweet. Okay. Oh, you know what was a really good show recently? Uh, it's called The Great on Hulu. Oh yeah, with um. Dakota Fanning's sister. Really a great Fanning. show. Okay, so we got four, four tablespoons of butter. It's two, tea, two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. I'm just gonna put whatever I feel. So this is the filling. Yeah. You can do double the filling too if you're that type of person. I think I usually do when I make it. Mm. And then three tablespoons of erythritol. I'll add some stevia. DMX, Matt, have you heard? Yeah. I have, I, I saw he was in the news, but what, did he, he die? He was in a coma from a heart attack uh, for a while. Yeah, he's been living hard, I know, for the past like 10 or 15 years. Yeah, I wonder what the co heart attack was from. I'm just gonna mix this up. But man, what an icon. Really an iconic artist. Yeah, he was famous. Like, there's certain people like that. I just feel like life after fame is so hard because, like, back in, like, the early 2000s, like, being famous, it was, it was like, less people were, you know? So it was, like, the height of his fame was so high. And then when it's all over, it's like, what do you do? I feel a, a lot of, like, NFL athletes or basketball players, they probably feel the same way. It was an overdose, someone says. I'm actually just gonna microwave this a little so that it's just more like liquidy and easier to apply. Someone said it was an overdose heart attack? Someone said that, yeah. Is that a fact? How would you know that? I don't know. Does anyone know what's going on with the now better stevia shortage? Most of the flavors, including my beloved English toffee, have been sold out internet wide for over a month. I've seen them at Whole Foods. Yeah, maybe go Sprouts or go Whole Foods. You might find them there, but um, yeah, I don't think we've ordered those recently, so I can't confirm. Can't find vanilla cinnamon. That's my favorite flavor. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't like cinnamon in my coffee is what I've realized. I've been watching you guys for years, but never made it to a live before. Thanks for inspiring people to be healthy. That's sweet. Thanks for being here. I saw a film, The Hunt. It's crazy. Oh, it's super good. Matt fell asleep watching I fell asleep. it. Yeah. It's um, after the book Farm Animal. Mm. That was such a good movie, though. I highly recommend it. Okay, we got our paste. It's pretty wet because I just added the rest of the butter because it was two tablespoons and I didn't want to just like put it back in the fridge. Should be okay. It will be. <clears throat> what are some non-nut, non-cheese snacks for when you are feeling like you just want to snack? There's something, a lot of options. Something to replace popcorn type snacking. Pork rinds, Quest chips. Hilo actually has new chips that are super good. Um, like almond flour crackers. Yeah. You can do flaxseed crackers, which are gross in my opinion, but each their own. 
Yeah, you remember when we first started our channel, flaxseed crackers was like the only option? So gross. Okay, I have two pieces of parchment paper here. I'm actually gonna grease them because usually you don't need to, but sometimes you do, you know? It's just like sticks sometimes. Cinnamon is so good in coffee. Yeah, a lot of people do love it. Does making eggs and bacon along with your cook-along Sorry. With you, so someone is kind of cooking along. They're just not making yeah, that cow. this recipe. You're cooking. Please note, DMX is deceased at age 50. Overdubs. Thank you. Yeah, like the Rough Riders oh Anthem video. I forgot one of the dry ingredients. What'd you forget? Flaxseed. Uh-oh. That's a problem. That's a really good added necessary. I'm pregnant, guys. Okay. Mix I'm, it back in. Yeah, Mix it in. So three tablespoons of flaxseed, guys. You can't trust me. I'm just sitting here. Should I help more? Is that what someone said? No. That's usually that's what, what the husband said. That's what I'm saying. Nothing. Let's be honest here. Um, I'm not cooking along. I'm on my stationary bike watching you. That's cool. You're getting some activity in. I'm new to keto. Started mid-January 2021, and your channel has been very helpful. That's good to hear. Glad we could help. Maga, do you ever regret not going through with law school? If you did, how do you think life would be? I don't regret it for a moment. Well, she went, she went through with law school. Yeah, she I graduated. Law yeah. I took the bar, too. I didn't pass. But I don't regret trying to pass again. Not trying. I'm happy. I'm very happy with life. Yeah, I don't think I... You can't I'd... have regrets like that, right? Yeah. I mean, the only thing I would regret is, like, missing out on being an NBA basketball player. Because she could still be a lawyer at some point if she wants to be. Been watching your videos for a bit. Keep sharing. Should be working, but I'm watching. <laughs> Print a lot of your recipes. I have loads. Why aren't you guys bumping some DMX right now while cooking? Because we would get banned from YouTube because YouTube is very restrictive. And also because it's not really cooking music. Well, it could be, but it's not like our audience's music. Yeah, DMX music uh, doesn't really age well. So like, you're not still like, if you throw on like, what's his best song, I guess? I don't know. Okay, so we have our dough and no harm, no foul, the flaxseed mixed right, right in. Yeah, looks great. There it is. So this is the technique you guys gotta watch. This is where people mess up. I can't lose that. Who's DMX? He's a super famous rapper from the early 2000s. I'm just gonna kind of evenly make it like that. He was always barking. X gonna give it to you, that's a good contender. Where to hood at is probably what I would say. Um, I also really like the DMX Cisco remix. Are these parchment papers big enough? I feel like they're so small. You can get more if you need it. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind? That's a good one too. <laughs> he has a lot of good ones, actually. I'm just rolling this puppy out. I love you guys. Been following for years. Y'all helped me lose over 50 pounds. Whoa, crushing it. That's like quite the achievement. What's your take on Lily's chocolate salted caramel flavor uh, baking chips? 32% cocoa, stevia sweetened. Very descriptive there. Thinking of melting some and adding to the center of this. Ooh, that sounds phenomenal. Worth a try. I would I leave out the cinnamon. I would just go for the salted caramel flavoring. Yeah, I would prefer the cinnamon, but maybe I would cut a little small portion off and just try it in a, a small section of it. Or you could do a drizzle. Like melt it down and do a drizzle on top when they're done instead of cream cheese frosting. DMX in a nutshell. What? Yeah, DMX has. I would. I think dog bark is actually DMX in a nutshell. 
but that's good Poor too. Poor guy. We were talking about him. I'm so, sure there was more to him than his dog barking. I didn't go, but my friends actually went to a DMX concert way past his prime. It was like three years ago. So, you know, like like 12 years after his prime. And apparently he came like three hours late, but he like really went all out for the show. He was super drunk and he was just like crowd surfing. I'm sure that's like his, you know, he's like, I gotta, you know, live it up while I can. Okay, so I'm just going to roll it out to the thickness or like to the entirety of these pieces of parchment paper. Was it free? No, I think it was pretty cheap though, like maybe 20 bucks. Oh, the concert? No, yeah. I don't think he would do a free concert. He's still really like well known and famous. I mean, he was doing it for the money. Yeah. Have you all ever watched The Masked Singer? No, have you? Um, I've seen a little bit of it. It's just, it's just, I don't like shows like that. Anymore. I hate American Idol. I hate uh, talented, like who's got talent. I hate all those shows. It's just like not so fun for me. But I used to. My dad loves American Idol. I feel like he still watches it if it's even on. Didn't DMX get in trouble for dog fighting? Yeah. I mean, Michael Vick did. I don't know if DMX did, but that sounds right. <laughs> Just knowing what I know about him. Okay. We've rolled it out, guys. Look at it. It's perfect. Pretty. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do, because this is where things get tricky for people, is you want to leave the edge closest to you, like maybe like half an inch or so. Um... No, the edge furthest from you, yeah. about half an inch or so, no filling because that'll just like, that's where the roll will come together and you don't want like the filling just splooging everywhere. So that's where you like nicely crease it up. So I'm going to spread this on. Do you have a name for the baby? We do, but we can't tell you, of course. Well, we're just waiting to share like we did last time with Theo, right? We just shared on like Instagram or something. When they're born, right? Yeah, when he was born. We have a middle and a first. And last name, we're going to do Barrett this time. DMX is a you famous didn't even rapper. Hear what I said. What? We're going to do what? He doesn't even listen to me. I said we're going to do Barrett last, this time for the last name. Oh, okay. Are you serious? No. He has to have the same name <laughs> as, as us. So watch the technique. Yeah. You got a lot there, a lot of filling. Theo is at daycare. He goes two days a week, so we can do stuff like this. Wednesdays and Fridays. If you if he was here, you would have known. Cam Newton, Super Bowl MVP this year, mark my words. I think you commented this on Instagram one time, and I will give you I'll give you a hundred to one odds, I guess, on that. Easy. What does that mean? You have to bet a hundred to, I mean, if you bet one dollar, you win a hundred if he wins it. Oh, so you don't think that'll happen? No chance. Cam Newton's done. Career's over. I mean, he might start and play again, but he'll never really be relevant. Same with Tom Brady, right? Tom Brady's coming off a Super Bowl. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so the spread looks good. It is erythritol, cinnamon, butter, right? Yeah, I just won't use it all. You could put some on top, too, or something at the end. Okay. My husband and I just began keto on the first, so we'll see you in a few months with our progress. We each have 60 pounds to loose. You got this, girl. That's what they said about Brady, too. <laughs> I love that you just grouped Cam Newton along with Tom Brady. Okay, here we go. So you just use the parchment paper itself to start the rolling process. This is the technique, guys. Watch. This Unless is what you, don't you need care. to know to do it right. But see, it already came off the parchment paper. So that's one roll. And just continuously use the parchment paper to roll it. Looks good. You never want to use your hands. You can grease your hands, though, with some like oil or even some water if you wet them. Because the dough is really sticky. Ran out of parchment paper. Anything I can use in place of that? Maybe like... Um, 
What is that called? Like wax? the clear, clear paper? No. No? Maybe wax paper, but make sure you grease it. Wax paper should never go in the oven. I've definitely made that mistake before. You could use like a silicone mat. If yeah. you have those for baking. I've lost 44 on keto in three months so far. Wonderful. Good job, guys. How's everyone holding up recently? Is it getting harder? Are you still staying motivated? Usually around this time, people kind of start coasting. Okay, we gotta get these in. Okay, so that's it. So now that's why you leave your little bit left without any filling because it'll Perfect. close right up. Oh, got a little. That is lovely. So now I'm just gonna slice it up. I'm gonna close the ends as such. Do you have to close the ends? No, but I like to. And then slice it up and put it in our pan. How often do you guys work out or go on walks? Well, uh, I've, we go I on fluctuate. Walks every day. Because with Theo now, we That's... take a walk every day. Um, I've been working out like three to four times a week. Just because when you have, know you have to give birth, you got to keep some endurance. Otherwise, it's all lost. So yeah. this is heavily greased. And the recipe says to make nine. Sometimes I just do eight, but I feel like this is pretty long. So we do ten. Yeah. So we'll see. Eight. Okay. You want to talk about your workout? Sorry, I just jumped in. Oh, I mean the the walks we do with Theo every day. That's not like a an exercise walk. That's like just a stroll. So like, thirty minutes or more to me is like an exercise type walk. Well, you're doing thick ones. Oh, should I do thinner? No, whatever you, you whatever you always make. How it, much? Whatever you usually do. How much each side? Five or four? Whatever, five, five, five. Uh, Whatever, five. I, I sometimes don't lift weights super often. Sometimes I do it a lot more. Right now I'm kind of in a lull, so I'm not doing as much. He's also pregnant. Yeah, I have a phantom pregnancy going on. But uh, I try to get some exercise. Like yesterday I didn't do a legit exercise, but I did like a Wim Hof breathing technique and I did like maybe a hundred push-ups, just like small stuff like that I'll do. Just, That's to, great, just yeah. to try clocking something in, you know. Nutritional info on these rolls, it's on our website, ketoconnect.net cinnamon rolls. So we actually got 10 out of this, which means the nutritional info is less. Looking at about 250 cals per uh, roll, if I think. If you do nine, yeah. Oh, no, no. I have it set for... And what? we're not doing cream cheese frosting. Wait, wait, wait. I'm adjusting here. So we do 10. No, we do nine. These are really going to cram into each other, Matt. Oh, I don't know if... Yeah, okay. Yeah, about 250 per roll or so. Okay, there it is. I like when they cram into each other. Now I'm gonna pop it in the oven. It's 400 for five minutes and we drop the temperature to 350 for like 20 to 25. Can you pull up the temp to the, let me see, make sure that's right. Yep. Do you have to put foil on them or anything? No, preheat oven, 400 degrees, um, 15 to 20, bake for five minutes, then reduce the temperature to 350 mm -hmm. for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. And then there's the frosting recipe, guys, which... The nutrition info includes the frosting. Oh, the nutrition info includes the frosting. That's that's what's going on. And we're not doing the frosting. So, yeah, ours will be a little less calories. Probably 200, 150, 200 per roll. You can also switch the whole in, um, instructions into metric mode. Customary metric. And we just added this to our website today. What do you guys think of this little drop down bar at the top? I want to see the belly. What are you guys going to do with all the leftovers? Well, we'll put them in the fridge and then we'll eat them over the course of like a week or two. 10 days. Oh, belly. Wow. He is so active, it's unbelievable. I am not he? ready for I only felt baby. him kick once. I know, I feel him kick all the time. Oh, someone says it says cover loosely with foil. Dang. You do usually cover it too, don't you? I know. Um, we should do that. Oh, if necessary, cover loosely with foil after the first five minutes. Okay. 
Got a problem with cream cheese? It's got sugar in it. Any replacements for that? Well, a lot of foods that we eat are have small amounts of naturally occurring sugar, so as long as you're not getting some sort of weird cream cheese spread that has a bunch of sugar added to it, I'm fine with it. Um, there isn't really a great replacement for cream cheese, is there? What are, it depends on what you're making, like Greek yogurt, I guess, if you were doing like pancakes or something. Any replacement for xanthan gum? You can leave it out, except if you do have it, it'll be a little bit better. Maybe like, some gelatin even, beef gelatin if you have. They want to know the original name of the baby. No. We can't tell that because, you know, that might be the third baby. When that one that's Matt, the one that Matt's carrying. Um... Let's see, what do we got here? We have to convert the temp to centigrade. Here. Yeah, I guess you gotta just throw that into a Google temperature calculator. I like the drop down bar, cool. Oh, there was a show cooking with DMX and Little John on Spike TV. Oh, that would have probably been like once, like fun to watch once and then never again. I'm like the least biggest Little John fan ever. So you don't like him? I hate him, yeah. I mean, I don't hate him as a person, just his music. Yeah, he doesn't make great music. Will you guys keep this posted? I would love to refer to this next time I make your cinnamon rolls. 100%. It stays on our YouTube channel. We also have a video already of just like a quick recipe video making them. But maybe we don't go in depth with like the rolling part, which is the yeah. top part. Hubby and I just started Keto Monday. So far, I can't stop watching Keto videos. Yay, that's a good feeling and place to be. Remember to uh, channel this energy when you're feeling unmotivated or just like you want to give up. You guys got any vacations planned or anything coming up? I feel like a lot of people are planning vacations now, right? Yeah, for sure. We're going, we're not going on like a real vacation, but we're going to Michigan for two weeks. Have a vacation would be with no Theo. Yeah. That's just a work trip, man. <laughs> yeah. For me, you're vacationing. All no, I'm working too. Uh, 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 uh. Have you ever watched that show with 2 Chains? He eats all this crazy expensive food. Yeah, it's like most expensivest or something. It's pretty funny. I saw one where he like, um, he got the most expensive air. It's like a can of air. And you just breathe it in. It was like a thousand bucks or something. Yeah, that's not that expensive. Though. I like Two Chains. He's pretty cool. He's smart. You can tell he's smart. He has a good personality. Yeah, we watched like a day in the life of him. Remember? Yeah, he smokes like he smokes Constant. like twenty blunts a day. It's pretty crazy. He has a he pays a blunt roller, just like a guy there all I day. I would. <clears throat> he can barely keep up too. It's pretty crazy. I don't feel like COVID safe. Still just hanging out. I don't feel like COVID safe. Still just hanging out? Okay. No, yeah, a lot of people are in that boat. Have you guys ever made keto pop charts? Mega made them a few times. Not good though. It's hard. It's definitely very hard. They were pretty good. Which is why there's no great replacements. When are you going to Michigan? Michigan resident. Uh, June. Yeah, June. One of my friend's weddings. Going to Florida in July. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going to Disney World when the kids are a little older. I got a ways for that. Smash the like button, people. Thank someone you. says. Any idea when a new cookbook will be coming around? Probably not anytime soon, to be honest. It takes a lot. The last one we wrote, we pumped out right before Theo was born. Um, right? Yeah. And it was just a lot. We enjoy it. Definitely. I love doing it, but you know, the food blog is our main hub of recipes. The next cookbook might be baby food recipes. And maybe even like self-published, right? Maybe. It's tough. I don't know. 20 days to my one year keto anniversary. Yay. Occasional treats like this one help to keep a healthy relationship to food. I have a history of restrictive eating disorders and stay social with food. PCOS gone. Amazing. Sounds like life yeah. couldn't be better for you. Um, oh. what, have you tried Elite Donuts? Are Elite Donuts like a keto brand? I have not tried those. Not heard of them. What is the timing? Like 20 minutes? 15 to 20. Probably 15. 
Um, Mega should do a cameo with Stitches. Yeah, I was looking. Uh, I looked him up on Cameo the other day. I think it's like two fifty or something, and he has more face tats now. Did you know? No. Mega loves Stitches. What's your favorite Stitches song? Breaking your face. Breaking your face. I mean, he has a lot of good ones, but that's like the first one that I really. I think that defines him as a human being. Breaking your face. If you guys don't know Stitches, he's a really sort of cringy, I would say, rap artist. Would you say cringy? <laughs> Um, no, I don't use, I don't like the word cringy with rappers because I, it's an art I could never perform or have the guts to do. I, and I yeah. think his videos are good. Yeah. And Breaking Your Face is very catchy. Like, I enjoyed it for a period of time. Did you? Oh, okay. See, I've never enjoyed a Stitches song. Yeah, I mean, does it not get you pumped up? Like, if you had a big basketball game and your coach put on Brick in Your Face, you'd be like, yeah. I'm going to crush the court. I think there's a fine line. Like, no, Stitches is, is over towards the cringy side to me. I mean, would you say your rapping's cringy? Yeah, that's not that's great. That's mean. No. Matt's rap's really good, and I'll tell you his rap name no, right. No, you won't. <laughs> Who's worth Takashi or Takashi or Stitches? I mean, come on. Takashi's good. Takashi's actually makes pretty good music. I mean, like his... He's a snitch. I know Stitches would never snitch. That's true. He ain't no B-word. Uh, what would you do if Theo wanted to get face tats like Stitches? I mean, if he's 18 and he's not living in our house and he's doing his thing and he's living the life and he's making music, I mean, well, who are we to stop him, right? Yeah. Because Stitches, I'm pretty sure, like, has kids maybe. So if he's fathering, if Theo's fathering children at, like, 18, 19, 20, like, he's doing way more than tats on his face. Yeah, I mean... I would try to discourage it, obviously. He's not going to ask us, though. He's telling us. Or he's just coming home and showing it to us. But if he is, like, making it... Like, I kind of... I don't hate face tats because it is burning the bridges. Burning burning the ships. Where it's like, I'm not getting a 9 to 5. Look at my face. It's that type of a thing. So it's like, you're either, you're either making it as a rapper or you're... Selling drugs. Selling drugs. You know, <laughs> like, kicking indoors. So I do kind of like it for its symbolism, but... I don't obviously want my kid to have it. Um, I just recently started keto. I've been loving your recipes. My favorite is a keto chicken stir fry. That's a good one. Super simple. You can change up the meat, change up the veggies. It's so easy to make a, like a super delicious recipe and not feel restricted. And I've been loving cauliflower rice lately. I used to be a big poop talker and I just like hated it, but I love hated it. Hated what? Cauliflower rice? Yeah, but I'm so into it. This pregnancy for sure. Is it possible to leave out the vinegar? I'm out of it just now. You could leave it out. Yeah. It does do a little something though. I feel like it helps with the expansion, but it'll be good just without it too. Yeah. Um, oh, lemon juice or something could be substituted for the vinegar, sure. Stitches is only like 24, is that true? Yeah, he's hella young. No. Yeah, for sure. Stitches. Age. I think he's more like 28 or something. Uh, 25. 25. Wow. Okay. Yeah, man. I, I guess I'm just getting old. I mean, you're, we're only six years older than him. Yeah. Go back to the questions. What are you reminiscing about right now? <laughs> Nothing. I uh, love cauliflower rice. I used to make it all kinds of traditional desi food. Yum. And chipotle bowls. Ooh, and stuff. Oh, speaking of, we're getting chipotle for dinner, in case you guys wanted to know. What are you guys having for dinner? Um, we tried the cauliflower rice. I don't know if you guys have tried it. Did you like it? I wasn't a huge fan, but now that I'm loving cauliflower rice in yeah. my pregnancy, maybe I'll go for it. Who I don't knows? love it. I would never get it again. I don't know. I think I would. Instead of, like, I would just get that instead of the salad. Uh, keto with Color Me Bad? What is that? Is that a channel? Color, yeah, probably. Huh. Do you plan to do keto your whole life? Will your kids be totally keto, too? Well, no, he's already not totally keto. It's mostly just eating natural foods, educating them on what's good, what's bad type of a thing. Same goes for us. Because kids can pretty much eat anything because they're growing so much and they're active, so... Yeah. What are both of our favorite keto recipes? 
Favorite recipes. I like, usually just keep it pretty basic. You like steak and veggie. Yeah, just like steak and veggie, but from our food blog, maybe... Um, I like our keto salmon curry. We made that like two nights ago. That's good. Egg roll Theo in a bowl. Loves it too. I like egg roll in a bowl. It's been a minute since we did that. Um, is it butter chicken? Is a good one. Mm -hmm. Breakfast casseroles. We used to do a lot. We don't as much anymore, but we love those. Um, I'm actually have planning on having my first cheat day in six months by eating a massive tower of waffles and ice cream. That's going to make you feel so uneasy, but that's exciting. I'm sure you're like very amped up for it. Chicken Vesuvius. What is that? I don't know. Sounds good. Yeah. I also use Heart of Palm for replacing pasta. That's a really good replacement. I love that. How do I get out of the calorie counting mentality? Mm -hmm. I stopped counting because it's been really mentally draining, but I still haven't, but I still have anxiety about not counting. Mm. Well, that's uh, a tough one. Focusing more on the foods, what types of foods you're eating, having big meals, that helps. Yeah, if you're not eating just like bars and products, packaged goods, then calories aren't really like a thing that you can track, right? If you're just eating fresh produce, meats, um, like, you know, avocados, just keeping your foods whole, it's easier to like not get so wrapped up in the calorie counting game. A nutrition label, when it says nine grams total sugars, and including seven added sugars, does that mean there's 16 total grams? No, everything, so if you look at a nutrition label, it'll say there'll be one line and then everything indented adds into that top line. So it'll be total sugars and then it'll be indented added sugars. So that means the added sugars are part of the total sugars. Yes. So nine total sugars in that. Chicken jalapeno crust. Chicken jalapeno casserole is great. That is a good one. That's from our, uh, I don't know if you're referring to ours. That is from our first cookbook, I'm pretty sure. So Murder She Ate, if you guys don't know, we did a Murder She Ate on the uh, art heist and now there's a Netflix documentary that just came out on it. Mm -hmm. That was a really good Murder She Ate, I fun thought. case. Yeah. But no, we're probably not gonna be doing Murder She Ate soon. A lot of you guys really like it though. Um. Any experience with super high protein keto, like two to one in grams? Yeah, we've, I mean, I've definitely played around with that. I feel like we did that. No, we're, oh, two to one in grams. Two to one in grams. Yeah. So like that would be. 80 grams of protein, 90 grams of fat. So that would be almost 50% of calories from protein. No, I've never done that. I've done days like that for sure. Um, we also did the day where we did that video do you not remember? Yeah. Really? I mean like sporadically one day here and there, but consistently for weeks, yeah. no, I've never done that. It's really filling for sure to start. I never like listening to rap, but at 49 years now, I like Tom McDonald's content. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I listen to a few of his songs. He's really a, a terrible artist. I, I guess I don't like saying anyone's a terrible artist because they're trying and they're doing art. I just said that. But... I mean, on the spectrum of things, he's pretty bad, I would say. Did keto three years ago and lost 65 pounds in four months. Had a baby 15 months ago. Okay. Been back on keto for two months, still nursing and struggling to lose any weight this time. Any suggestions? Okay, so for me, when it came to nursing and doing keto, like I could be keto all day long, but when I'm nursing, especially like on demand pretty consistently throughout the day with my son, um, I didn't see a lot of weight loss. It wasn't until I cut down on the nursing and he started daycare twice a week that I started to lose the weight. So a lot of women have the experience where nursing like helps them lose weight. But for me, I just held on to all those fat stores because that's what your body needs, right? You're feeding another human being and you need also nutrients yourself. So your body might just be holding on to that um, for the time being. And as nursing, you nurse less and less, you might see some weight loss. Have you heard of F-bomb bars? No, they have bars? Maybe the, the hazelnut ones? Wait. No, I, I haven't know. heard of them. I don't know who F-bomb is, yeah. Um, shirataki noodles are banned in Australia. What do you think of that? I used to eat them, now I'm concerned. Why are they banned? I should research that. Um, do you guys ever watch Thomas DeLauer? A lot of people ask us that. No. 
No, I don't watch too many keto um, channels, though, in general. Same. Shirataki noodles banned? Is this true? Shirataki ban noodles Australia. banned Australia. So they're really just fiber. Um, I don't think they're banned. Why it says it blocked a patient's stomach for 10 days. Click the second drop down. Why are cognac... Uh, is... It's fiber, glucomannan, is banned in Australia because it causes the stomach to swell to create the feeling of being full. However, it's not banned in tablet form. So it seems like it is potentially banned? I'm not sure. Hmm. It doesn't seem because I if it was really banned, I think there'd be a bunch of articles on it being banned. I just see like one or two. Maybe some stores aren't carrying it, but um, I guess are you? I mean, assuming you're not eating a ton, that you're having tummy issues. I think it's totally fine, but like with anything that is really low calorie and it has a lot of fiber, there's going to be those people that are really just in a bad mind space that are like, I'm just going to eat 12 bags of this and not eat. And it'll only be a hundred calories for the day. You know, there's, there's those people that do that type of stuff. And that's probably not good to do. Lilies are Ghirardelli. I mean, they're very different, but like, <laughs> yeah, we get the Ghirardelli like 92%. Or is that lint? I don't like the Lily's ones. I just like getting the dark chocolate. Um, I'm trying the carnivore diet now. What do you guys think about that? Think about it. It's like the... I don't know. For a normal average person who's just trying to be a little bit healthier, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's, not, it's entirely sustainable depending on your lifestyle. And, but like depending on your goals as well. And like are you also single, living alone, like don't have kids? It really, it's, I mean, it's worth giving a try if it's something you want to see you, if you enjoy, but don't use it just like as the end all be all because maybe you've stalled or you're struggling to lose weight. Um, how long did it take you to get that many people following you? Well, we've been doing this for five years, so I guess. I mean, we haven't hit a million. It's been like a year. I think a, a year ago we had 900,000 and we're we've not been... going to hit a million ever. I don't I don't think at this point. I think it's still possible, but yeah, we're sort of s stagnating here. We've been for a while. But I think with uh, keto, uh, for our channel, like people, a lot of people will join up and follow us in January, February, and then like during the summer, you know, not as many people. It's very cyclical because people get on their diets and they're off their diets. So it's not, there's, there's a few people, but it's not many that have just been here since day one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're at 950k. 947. It's possible, but I remember like a year ago, I think we were at 920, right? Yeah. Maybe that should be a goal for this year. Get to a million. Um, what else do we got here? High falutin, low carb. You will hit a mill. Oh, that's sweet. Hello. Go check out his channel. Wesley, is it? Yeah. Great channel. Yeah, he, Lots of comparison recipes. He was on a podcast with us too. I love the Quest peanut butter cookies, but can't always get them in the UK. Julius, come Matt, here. Matt come. knows a thing or two about Quest cookies. I don't know much about the UK, though. Or the peanut butter one. He likes the chocolate like the chip one. one. The best. Julius, come here. Come here, bud. Tracy Fisher's been here since day one. Hey, Tracy. How much does it say? Looks like we got a minute left. But that's only 15. I gotta check on them. Oh, someone said, please explain the effects of pure sugar to my 11 year old. So like, I don't, I don't know that there's a, f a ton of terrible effects of pure sugar in isolation. Like it's just a lot of calories with not a lot of nutrients. And, but if you're doing it chronically, like every day, which is what most Americans do, I think that's a problem. But like every once in a while, I mean, eating pure sugar, though, however, does have an effect on your blood glucose that a lot of other like protein, a protein source, right? Won't. Yeah, there's that. But I think it's really just ugh, it's a lot of factors because it's like most foods that most Americans are eating. It's heavily processed. It's sugars and vegetable oils. Those are like the top two sources of calories in the standard American diet and it's almost no nutrients. So 
that over time has really bad effects. But like some honey here and there, like we humans, that's done. Yeah. Humans like throughout history, they would have pure sugar occasionally. They like find honey and honey and stuff. And they eat it in bulk. Yeah, they just eat it all. What's your favorite snack to satisfy munchies? I think it depends. I do like, I like making mug cakes a lot, which we have a lot of recipes for those on our website. Um, protein waffles. If we're in a mood where we know we're going to be snacking, sometimes we'll just have like a snack dinner like that. Yeah. Um, like Quest chips are good. Pork rinds. Is that the munchies question? Yeah. I'm doing carnivore for a bit now to see how my body feels without sweeteners because whenever I do keto, I feel like I'm always trying to make keto treats and get, it gives me bloating. That's possible. You can also do keto without sweeteners without having to do carnivore. The Benton Keto Chocolate Chip Cookies from Aldi are too good. Really? We I tried... Thought, did we try the Benton ones? Yeah, I thought they were decent. Mega doesn't like them, though. No. Whoa. Um, do you see this baby name guess? Yeah, that's a good one. That does look kind of good. Um, Halo Top Jelly Donut Ice Cream would be awesome with cinnamon rolls. We, You didn't like the Jelly Donut. I didn't hate it that much. I think the White Chocolate Chip Macadamia one was my favorite. Yeah, I don't. New flavors. I don't really like Halo Top. I've, other than trying it for the channel, we never buy it really. No. We used to though. Yeah. How's your pregnancy going? It's okay. I'm pretty tired already. In the sense, like, ready to meet the baby, ready to just get back to feeling like myself. Yet, like the second time around, I feel like it all comes on very quickly. Like the weight and the bloating. I have heartburn every day. I'm way more tired, second trimester. But thank you for asking. <laughs> um, um, b -b 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 fat bombs, mug cakes, yum. Boring at work today. Thank goodness I have you guys on YouTube. I'm definitely going to be making these. Yeah, let us know if you do. You guys are really great. Recipe creation, are there any recipes you want to ketify that you haven't? I mean, a lot of people ask us, like, for recipes that I think are just not possible, like baklava yeah. or croissants. Like, those are just not going to happen, unfortunately. How are they looking? I'm pull them out. Oh, boy. Here we go. We'll get the webcam ready. When is the baby due? It is due at the end of July, I think, right? Yes. End of July. Woo! There it Those is. Are Those look great. Wow. Show it up to the camera. You got it? Those Looks look good. Amazing. Looking yummy. Can I take an Instagram picture, guys? Yeah. I live in the Middle East, and local keto businesses here do make keto baklava. Do they? We need the recipe. What do they put in it? Yeah, right. Because it's hard to get the layers. Um, advice for someone who struggles with satiety on keto. I enjoy the food. No struggle with carb restrictions. But I never feel full and I can clear 4K calories too easily and gain weight. Well, well look at the foods you're eating. Yeah, what foods? Are you eating a lot of nut butters, dairy? I can eat dairy? 4K of this yeah. easy, guys. You got to look at the palatability of your food, the nutrient density of your food. Those two things, I think, over time, like maybe day one when you're like, okay, I'm going to eat less palatable, more nutrient-dense foods. Day one, you still might be able to eat 4,000 calories, but day 10... You know, it starts having just a corrective like uh, behavior. So try that. Just give it some time, I would say. But yeah, analyze what foods you're eating. If you're eating a lot of stuff like this, if you're eating a lot of dairy, nut butters. Any packaged goods, bars, like Lily's chocolates, lots of like sweetener and fats in your coffee. Like a, a huge bulletproof coffee with like 
you know, that's 250 calories and has a lot of sweetener. For me, that sets me off on like a not great foot. Like if there was no sweetener in it, then I'm not as tempted afterwards to have something to eat. Do you feel the same way? I didn't listen to you. What did you say? Is this everyone's husband? Something about sweetener and not being hungry In like after? a 250 calorie. He literally never listens to me. And well, I can't I was... even like nagging, nag him because then I'm nagging him. I was getting the next question ready. But isn't being present with your wife super important? It is, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, if you're looking for frosting, someone was asking, in the recipe post on our food blog, which if you guys are new, ketoconnect.net. It's a cream cheese frosting, so cream cheese, butter, erythritol. That's all you really need. Yeah, very basic cream cheese frosting recipe. Oh, and also now we I got this. I kind of wish we had the frosting. Do you? Yeah. You can make up a little batch if you want. We have this free recipe book you guys can download too on the site. But um, the frosting recipe is right down here. So we're gonna pop one out, huh? Pregnant women are always right. No, bro, women are always right. Wives are always, always right. I run a household. I need someone to listen to me. My kids won't. Mine never listens either. Annoying. Do you, which one do you want? Whichever, I guess the middle one. That one looks easiest to get. This one? Yeah. No, it looks like the worst one though. Oh yeah. That looks nice and doughy. It does look nice and doughy. Woo. Most men are easily distracted. Yeah. They're like single-minded thinkers. We always have like 10 things going on at once. I started gaining weight on keto after I lost it. How does this happen? I mean, Sophia, just looking at the foods you're eating. We've talked about this. Like that's really like the big key. Um, Cause things just kind of creep up. Oh, you're, that's what you're eating? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you do a really calorie restricted diet, like a lot of people that do the biggest loser type diet, um, when you eat like 1500 calories a day and you exercise a lot, you will lose weight, but then you'll have a rebound effect. So if you're doing something similar with keto where you're doing really low calories, exercising a lot, at some point, the weight will rebound. You got to do more like slow and steady, consistent changes for the long term. Hot. Mm. Okay, I'm coming over. I'll bring the white wine. I feel like white wine wouldn't go great with this. I drink it anyway. Mmm, super good. Keto Elite Donuts. Do you work for Keto Elite Donuts? Are you trying to get some free publicity? Let me look up Keto Elite Donuts. Keto Elite Donuts. Oh, Elite Sweets. Look pretty. You can definitely send us some product and we'll review it in a mail time segment. Oh, this is actually a good idea. It's just like the like Lenny and Larry's cookies, but it's a donut. Um, How did you figure that? Because it's in a package. Because it's in a package, yeah, and it's like kind of same branding and stuff. These are super good. Do they have keto ones? Oh my yeah. gosh! It has twenty-seven grams of. It has ten grams of allulose and seventeen grams of erythritol. Whoa, well, yeah, it's a lot. Six grams of net carbs. It's kind of a lot. It's not something I would eat every day. But I wonder if it's big, I guess, but it's three ounces. I guess that's that's decent size, right? Three ounces. I mean, it all comes down to how it tastes. They're like six for 30 bucks. So five bucks each, that's expensive. That is very expensive. Um, joining from Turkey. Now the time is currently 10.04 p.m. Love you guys. Hey. How's Turkey? Hope you have a good night. Yeah, I feel like Turkey would be a good place to go. Good food. We were in the airport that one time, you remember? Nice people. Were we in Istanbul, Turkey? yeah. Oh, yeah. Istanbul seems like a nice place. Um, I lost 60 pounds so far 
um, on intermittent fasting without any exercise, that's great. That's, that's great. definitely um, a route a lot of people can go. Start incorporating it later when you feel like you want to. Can you update your recipes to be calculated in metric measurements instead of cups and spoons? You can do that, actually. Yeah. We have a button you click. Go down here, metric. <clears throat> it still does tablespoons, though. It That's goes weird. from cups to grams. Ounces to grams. Tablespoons, it doesn't know, though, it looks like. Sorry about that. But if you bake long enough, you just learn the conversion by heart. Or you just look it up. It's not too hard. Okay, those are quick. Yeah, they are really quick. And like I said, you can prep them the day before. Just keep them in the fridge. Pull them out, let them um, come to room temperature before you put them in the oven. Yeah, these are uh, these are like probably the best. You've been making these the most of anything on our site, I feel like, at least as far as desserts, desserts go. Desserts go, yeah. I make our walnut snowball cookies, but you I didn't eat them at yeah, all last time. Those are good too. And uh, remember guys, there is the deal from Thrive Market in the description too. Yeah. 25% off, free gift. What's the free gift? I don't know. Maybe some sort of product from their site, but yeah. Is that going to do it? That's going to do I it. I guess that's going to do it, guys. This was a nice, fun little hang. It's been a minute. Tag us on Instagram if you make them. Send us a picture. Give us a review. We'll see you next time. Yep. Maybe we'll start doing more of these before the baby comes. All right. Have a good week.